you are just one adjustment away from the next thing, your business. One simple adjustment away. What do I mean by that? Well, as I told you in the kind of preface, the preface, comme on dit in French, there are a lot of people giving you big things to implement and big concepts. And I love that because sometimes you got to change the way you think about things. But there are also other ways, other little tactics you could implement, other things that are quick pivots and not big changes. And those things, you can actually see a ton of results doing them. And I'm going to talk about you guys, those small pivots. Now, the thing that you got to understand is that you just have to realize that you got to focus on the things that move the needle the most without making your work the most for it. So you got to take those things that are really easy, low hanging fruits, great opportunities that if you can change, it doesn't require you, uh, you a lot more time, a lot more money to actually change, but they do give you a ton of results. So those are the things that we're going to focus on talking right now. And one of those things and I see a ton of people not doing that. And only the few that realize how to do this are the greatest. So if you want to be the greatest, make sure you listen to this one. It's about pivoting your message. Pivot. And I'm always going to be talking about pivoting, how you can pivot your message, because that's really the way you should think about things. Let me say why. People, when they're trying to sell you something, they always kind of have their own, their same ways to sell your stuff. And oftentimes that way isn't really good, which is awesome for you because if you want to grab some market share, that's an incredible way for actually getting some. Now, the thing is about the pivoting of your message. What do I mean by that? How should you pivot it? How should you adjust it? One of the things that you got to realize is that it's not, it's not about talking about the features. Everybody is talking about, okay, this is the car I'm going to sell you and this is the feature it's going to have. It's having a sunroof, it has AC, it has this pretty screen in the right in the middle. Well, you gotta stop selling that way. The way you got to start selling is actually talking about benefits, how this feature is going to benefit the customer in the end, because they don't really care about having a, something that blocks the sun. What they really care is that they don't have the, the, the light in their faces so they can drive safely. Or maybe it's because, you know, their kids don't, they want, don't want their kids to have the sun right in their faces. They don't really care about the sunroof or something like that. They really care about how it's going to benefit them in the end and that goes for every single product i see that especially with people that are out minded to be you know engineers scientists minds and i'm one of them i'm one of them as strange as it may seem because my whole life i was actually going in the route of becoming somebody that was focusing to sci science and biology and all those things like this and i was putting degrees and ways to work that were actually really focused on the scientific way of they look to things. And I have this, ten this tendency of being really, okay, features, 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 you know, really extremely logical. And it's not good whenever you are selling, you gotta be extremely aware of the emotions and the reasons why your customer is actually willing to make a decision in the first place. And that's the way you should pivot your message. So. On one-on-one -on -one setting, it can be easy because you can actually ask questions to figure it out. Now, we are oftentimes, because we're in a marketing command industry, we are oftentimes talking about how to do that with the masses, talking to a live like this, an Instagram live or episode or a YouTube video, whatever is the format that you decide to use. Now, how can you do that where you cannot ask questions and get responses? Well, the way to do that is actually do your research beforehand and figure out what are the designers, the deepest designers and biggest pains the customers have the biggest desires and biggest pains because when you figure that out you are able to see and talk with the benefits they want in the end as i talked to you about previously so don't talk about the features focus on the benefits you know for your customers so you can actually get the best results and that's a small pivot as you as like i'm not talking to you about changing your whole script i'm just talking to you about what you should focus on those little pivots small adjustments
but now we need to make a huge difference. Stop talking about features and start talking about the end results, the benefits that the buyer is going to get. Okay. Now, the second thing I want you guys to talk about, again, small change. And it's again in the messaging, the way you sell your product. It's maybe more including the packaging of it. It's about creating a unique solution. A unique solution. What do I mean by unique solution? I'm into the online marketing space and I know a guy, uh, I think you know, you know him, Frank Kern, if you guys know Frank Kern, incredible guy. And he doesn't do marketing services anymore, I think so. But one of the big aspects that made him different for his competition was the fact that in his offer, he was pretty much saying, or opening with a line like this, saying that, hey, if you're not satisfied with services, no problem. You can actually cancel any time and we will give you a refund of 20% of the service fee plus the, the full refund of what they actually purchased the, the, the service at. And they're like, oh, as a customer, it's a no brainer because you can basically get more customers at a free cost. And whatever happens, if you're not happy with it, you actually make some money in return. So what's the catch? Well, they're just extremely good and they're confident in getting you the results. And that's one thing that you got to figure out. What is the angle that you can use? And as you can see, it's a bold, but unique angle. Not a lot of people are willing to do that. And you can do the same in your industry. Now, I cannot tell you what to do. Maybe I can help you out, give you some ideas. But there are tons of ways you can do that. Maybe add more urgency, find a way you're different. Or it can simply be something ballsy like that. But definitely use those things as your advantage because there are free opportunities for you to grab some market share. So use them a ton, a ton, a ton. Now, one of the things that you got to realize, and that's maybe the most important thing besides all this, the techniques and the pivots are extremely important. But one of the things that, well, extremely efficient is actually go fastest and further into the same direction. That also works instead of pivoting in the right one. If you do go faster, you're going to get to the destination. Maybe not the right one, but you're going to figure out really faster, much, much faster where you actually are. And so you can readjust after that. So take more actions. And that's one thing I figured out the hard way recently. I wanted to do an event in a few months. And actually, I went into a clubhouse room with one of my actually multiple friends, entrepreneur friends. And they were like, man, why are you doing it in five months from now? I was like, yeah, you know, because I got I to gotta take all this time to promote it. And there is a reason why. This is an, a reason, a valuable reason. My goal was to help entrepreneurs, business owners to get some results and to improve their lives. Because I want to make as much impact as possible on this planet. And my way to doing that was to do an event like this. And they were like, man, if that's true, people need your help right now. Some people are going to be needing your help right now in one month, two months tomorrow but not in a few months from now and you're not going to be able to touch those people and you're right and that made me realize i need to think way bigger into the activity that i'm putting in into my promotion and all the other things i'm doing with my business because one rule of thumb my music is if i think uh if i think i should be promoting a certain amount of things I'm to next thing this month, meaning that you think you should be doing five posts for this campaign, do 50. You think you should be doing, I don't know, 10 variations for, for, for this ad, make 100. You think you should be doing one event, do 10. So you can actually have a big event with a lot of momentum behind that. And that's what the mentality I've acquired recently. It's extremely different and hectic sometimes, but I guarantee you that it can definitely give you the results that you hope for. And oftentimes, way more than you actually thought in the beginning, which is the key because that's how we want to grow. We want to grow as fast as possible. 